Hello, this is Malorian, and this is going to be kind of a, a mash of War Machine Battle Reports. The, the main feature of this is going to be a double header with Rask. So basically, the Journeyman League here is starting. And for those who don't know, Journeyman League is kind of the thing that Privateer Press does to get you into the game. So it starts you off, it goes with multiple weeks. Every week, the points increase, starting at basically this the starter set. You get points for playing games, points for painting. And it's really just to say, like, hey, you know, either you want to, if you want to start a new faction, hey, buy that faction. This is how you can start getting into it. If you're new to the game, here, just get the starter set. It will bring you up into the game. Or, hey, do you have some free models? Yeah here you go go and play the game and really even if you're a guy that's been playing for a long time don't want to get anything new sure you know here we'll just start small go up and it's just a, like a little ladder campaign that goes up so lots of fun for my part i'm starting minions i had just painted rask and a couple of the spitters so that's going to be my thing because uh, normally you have to there's these set battle boxes right but for my part here they're saying up here just to take 11 points as long as it's all just you know beasts or jacks good to go so hooray i can take you know rask instead of whatever you know the minion thing i'd have to take and that's gonna be lots of fun but before we get into this i'm gonna take too much <laughs> um flack if i don't give you this little mini battle report before so let's wait a second and it's story time with malorian so we're going back a week now i had the pictures for this but because i didn't think i was gonna be a computer i just deleted them I am running Lita 3, I'm running the Archangel, and a couple of big beasts. And it's really just like, yeah, I'm going to run around, I'm going to shoot, and it's going to be good times. I'm up against Vlad 2, and he has some Dune Reavers, the Bears, Spriggan, blah, 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 stuff like that. Eliminators, that type of thing. And I'm thinking this is perfect. Eliminators, I can just shoot down. You know, all the rest, I'll just shoot down, and yeah, good times. I mean, whenever the Spriggan's going to be a problem, I'll pop my feet, shoot it, and just kill the little guys. This is going to be easy. So, the first thing I'm going to be very careful with is with the Doom Reaver. I was like, okay, the Doom Reaver has like a threat range of 11. So this is perfect because my control area is 12. So I can go at that edge and I can shoot you down and I'm under no threat whatsoever. You can run up and engage me, but no big deal. I'll just like either repulse you off and then shoot you or whatever I need to do. Well, so I get first turn, move up. He gets first turn and he's just smirking. And I don't know why the hell he's doing it, but that's because I didn't realize with Vlad's two feet, you can go and boost all these models with their movement and strength and all this stuff. And basically these Doom Reavers come charging down and Lil 3 dies to two Doom Reavers uh, on turn one. So, so embarrassing. But like I say, if I didn't at least say this for the report, I'd be taking too much flack for too long. We actually played another game after this. It's like, all right, now I know your tricks. And so now I'm actually staying back, and I'm actually being more careful shooting his guys than going back and all this stuff. But it was actually kind of useless because he just won by scenario. Because by the time that I killed the Doom Reavers, he'd already controlled the zone. By the time I had to kind of like force myself back in the zone, all right, he just popped his feet then, killed my dudes from a zone, dominate, win the game. So there you have it. I had to say those two quick battle reports, otherwise I'd be hearing it forever. But hey, let's get back to Rask and some pink on pink battle. All right, so <laughs> I've done some pink armies over, you know, the last couple of years, but these guys are really pink. You know, these guys are like super hot <laughs> pink here. And uh, really what he's doing for his is even though he put this on, he's the one that said, hey, you know, if you guys want to do 11 points, uh, he's actually going with just the Signar starter box. So you have Striker here, you have the Ironclad, the Lancer, and then on the other flank here, he also has this uh, Charger. On my side, like I said, I'm going to more of a dirty pink, but I'm going here with Rask and a couple of Spitters. So going kind of more for the range game, and then hey, with Fury, I can rock it in close combat too. So overall, there is no mission for the first week of the German League. It really is just the tooth and claw, mangled metal. And so really it's cast or kill or kill all the jacks or beasts. Because otherwise, if you didn't have that, you'd have cast or just run away all game. Uh, basically his first turn, he moves up and he puts snipe on the charger, blur on the striker, and then arcane shield up onto the ironclad. My turn, I'm just basically moving up, not very fast, because hey, there's no zone to get into. 
his turn. He's taking these defensive positions. And uh, yeah, I'm not liking this because with his snipe, he's shooting me from there already. And he's getting some rock and hot dice. So that my left spitter is already hurting. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing too much. So on my turn, I first think I might be doing a feed or something. And I go over at the first turtle, the right turtle, and he goes to shoot the ironclad and then I realized what my huge minus was I thought hey I can mess this guy up pop my feet then finish him off on my next turn then I realized I wasn't gonna be doing much of anything so then the left turtle basically swung around the back it shot at the lancer and uh, you know they're both corrosion both have some damage but otherwise Rast just kind of heals up the injured turtle and that's it his turn, he's now kind of pressing up, and this is fine for me. Uh, corrosion stays on. He shoots and does some damage now to the other turtle, but otherwise, you know, now I have kind of a choice. I can either go a Fury and smash up some guys, or I can just move back and shoot some more. So what I decide is, hey, let's move back and shoot some more, because why not? And I basically put everything into the right one, because I just want to try and knock something out here. Uh, I also shoot him with Rast and put on Disruption, so that's great. Admonition is on the left turtle, and yeah, that Lancer is messed up. His Arc Node's gone already. So on his turn, he's finally forced to leave his little you know, fortifications he has back there, and uh, he doesn't really get too much done, as I remember it, uh, really just coming up, his his charger, putting a couple more double shots into my turtles, but uh, yeah, you know, every time he does it, I just heal up, you know, 75% of the damage, so it's not too bad overall. So on my turn, I just go in, and I think it's scrap time. Uh, yeah, I have Fury up on the left turtle. The marker's just not here right now, but that jack is messed up. I left it with, like, one box left. Uh, otherwise, the other one goes into the other one there, the Lancer. I could have probably actually scrapped it or done pretty good damage, but I just didn't want to go too hot. You know, I already have the six Fury down there, so I left it at that. His turn, he actually takes a little... You know, a couple of shots at my caster here. Go for a caster kill. Uh, first one connects and does like six damage. Second shot misses. And so, you know, really, my guy should be pretty... I mean, the odds of me dying here weren't that good. However, he should really have me in a, a lot more of a worse situation. Where it's like, man, I got to hide Rask or camping a lot. And luckily, because that other missed shot, nothing's too bad. And in combat there, yeah, he didn't really do too much to me at all. <clears throat> so on my turn, I basically go and scrap both of his jacks. Uh, Rask is now hiding behind and, uh, you know, camping a couple of Fury just in case. But now I just need to destroy that Charger and it's over. So his turn, he... Yeah, he kind of just goes a little bit more protective. Uh, he shoots at some of my turtles, does a little bit of damage, but can't take it out. And then on my turn, I just put on the... Uh, man, what's it called? The the one where I can get Pathfinder and stuff. But I just do that, charge through, get to his charger, and I smash it. And I guess he actually forgot. I, I think he forgot either that he was in a bad situation anyway. That, you know, if he didn't kill me, it was over. Uh, you know, if I kill his little Jack. But that's it. So I win the first game. Going on the second one, it's actually going on against Manoth now. Uh, somebody I've never played against before. But he's going with just the regular Manoth starter box. So this is with Krios. Uh, I don't know all the names, but I think it's Repenter is the Flamer guy, Crusader I know for sure, and I don't know what the Arc Note is on the right. It's like the Menoth Lancer. Otherwise, we're playing the same board. We just kind of moved it up a little bit different, but man, he went way back. And really, there's no point for that because, I mean, I'm the shooting type of army here. He isn't, so he wants to close the distance. So I don't know why he put himself so far back, but... Uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, at least now I can close the distance and now I can have the, the walls and stuff. So I get first turn, I'm just running up, but I put uh, Fury onto the left turtle just because why not. He gets first turn and just really walks up. I mean, he's no, no rush whatsoever to get to me. So my turn, I just run up again. His turn really didn't move much at all. He's just really sticking it out there. So on my turn, I'm starting to work on his arc node. So both turtles shoot at him. Uh, one actually missed. I put admonition on the right turtle just because. One thing I'm actually trying to do, he has a, 
Defender's Ward on the Crusader, and he has Lamentation up on his own guy. Uh, what I want to tr start having to worry about is, like, should he be doing Purification? Because, I mean, he has his own upkeeps. If he purifies, he'll have to put them back on. And if he starts purifying and recasting, he's going to be at a low focus, and then I can actually go for Assassination. So I'm actually trying to make it tempting for him to have to purify and put out his buffs again. His turn, really just moving up. He tried going for a spray on my turtle and missed with a double one. My turn, I just back up and I shoot those guys again. Again, I missed another shot even with boosting. But uh, yeah, I mean, clearly here, if he doesn't start running into me, I can just back up and shoot all day. So he starts actually running up. I probably could back up again, but uh, that Crusader is a little bit close. I don't know if I could back up and keep it out of charge range. So I might just go it for now. And that's really what I do. I mean, with the I let the admonition drop, uh, go into the Crusader, smash him, going into the other guy, did some good damage, but not enough. But really, now with his heavy gone, he's going to be in a rough spot. I mean, he could maybe come up with Krios to kill one of them, but then the other turtle will kill Krios. However, <laughs> his uh, Repenter guy comes up, and I mean, he just has a couple of attacks, but he cranks his second damage and uh, kills the turtle. So something I really was not planning on, and now I'm in some danger, because, I mean, if I lose the other turtle, I lose the game. And his other Lancer also got some really smoking hot damage, and uh, not only was his feet turned, so he knocked me down, so that made it easier, but, uh, yeah, my other turtle is, like, half dead already. So really what I do is I shoot the uh, Repenter, or whatever it's called, so that it's disrupted. Otherwise, the turtle smashes the Lancer-type Arc Node Menoth Jack. He comes over to try and finish me up, but is not able to. I mean, he has Krios do doing some shooting, and then the other Jack comes over with no focus. But yeah, not able to kill my turtle. And so the, you know, Rast charges in, turtle turns around, and once that Jack goes down, that's the game. <clears throat> So there you go, two wins for Rask, and I think a really big thing that you have to think of of the way that this kind of game goes, where you don't really have the scenario that forces you to the center. And so really, the range armies really have a big benefit in this. I know I've had the frustration where I've gone to the games before, and you know if you're playing these smaller games, and there's no mission, no nothing like that, you have the guys that will just run around, shoot you, so when I came to the Journeyman League, I said, there is no way that I'm going to be manhandled like this by another shooting army. I am going to be the shooting army. And so that's why I made this one here with the double spitters, because, you know, I, I also have some pretty, pretty good plays where I can shoot you with Rasp, make you either paralyze, take off your focus, whatever I need, pop the feet so you can't really counter me too well, and then the spitters are just shooting you up. And so really, I'm keeping that ball in my court. Now, when I was playing up against a Signar player, um, he had a little bit of return fire because his charger could do pretty good, especially with Snipe. But really, with me being able to heal and Jax not being able to heal, you know, and you just can't get somebody, unless you go with Darius or something, you just can't heal your Jax at these small points. Um, I was going to have the advantage there. So really what you need to do is like just to charge in something, just run something really like the Lancer, and just tie me up. Especially you saw that in that second game where pretty much he had nothing going for him, right? He, I didn't mention at one point he got like a spray off and did some okay damage, but for the most part that Menoth starter box doesn't have really any range game. You know, it's all about Krios knocks you down and you charge in and you kill stuff. But, uh, you know, if, you're, if I'm just an army that's backing up and shooting, you need to get in there to actually make this stuff happen. So there you have it, you know, two wins. Um, do I feel like I'm almost kind of cheating because I went with this change battle box and other guys didn't? Not really. Like I, I'd say I clearly have an advantage because I've built an army that's designed for this format as of you know the others that I've seen. I mean, there's like 10 people or so or more in this Journeyman League, and this is just two of the players. We'll see what the other players take, but uh, really I see a really big advantage here. But man, this is just going to be for this week. I have one more game because you can have three per week, and then next week it jumps up to 15 points, and then really it's everything's back to normal. You start playing the regular missions, there's going to be a mix of stuff, so <laughs> I might have like an advantage for like this first little three games, but stuff's going to go crazy later, and I'm still not really sure how I'm going to change my list for that, but there you go, and thanks for watching. Bye.